You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm back. I'm going to be playing SNK vs. Capcom, the arcade, on the PlayStation Classic. And um, I guess this is also an excuse to test out my joystick as the latest update for the Bleem Sync actually enables a few controllers to work on the PlayStation Classic. And um, yeah, it looks like... Uh, this one is working. If you missed my other video, I'm actually using a Q4 ref by Canva. And um, yeah, I guess I just need an excuse to play fighting games again as if I needed another one. And there's, there are a lot of um, fighting games, especially from SNK and Capcom as gonna be seeing here their crossover collaboration this one is from SNK and uh, of course Capcom side is Capcom versus SNK we all know that so I'm just gonna be choosing Kyo here Okay, not a bad, not a good start, I mean. And yeah. Of course, the layout is a bit different from what I'm used to. But if you have the... Like a Neo Geo pad, this is what it... How it is on default. I haven't changed some the button layout I should be able to do so but for simplicity's sake I'll just leave it as it is for now I'm not really good at doing that you should be able to do that continuously alternating the fierce and jab So anyway, of course uh, SNK vs Capcom did not get released on PlayStation 1. It did get a PlayStation 2 port with a few transparency effects on their um, projectiles. But otherwise the sprites remain the same. And um, as you can see, the SNK actually did a good job on the Capcom character sprites. As we see Chun Li here, very well animated. More so, actually, with uh, Dimitri. If we could uh, fight him later, you'll see what I mean. Uh, not all did translate well, like um, Balrog. Um. Nice looking sprite, but seems like he's missing a few movements, you know? And if you're not familiar, this is actually where Violent Ken first appeared. In game form, that is. Of course, he first appeared on the anime. Uh, Street Fighter 2, the movie in Japan. And um, he made an appearance here. Not quite the same. But I think the one on the Ultra Street Fighter 2 is uh, based from this version. Ah. That's their EX move. You can do that once a match, actually. When your health bar is red. 
And here's a character that actually wasn't a 2D character when she first appeared. Shiki it's from the Samurai. The 3D fighting game Hyper Hyper Samurai Showdown was it? Or Samurai Showdown 64? And that move actually reverses your control movements. Ah. See if I can do the EX. There it is. Not quite as effective as I hope. If I'm not mistaken, this is like one of the most expensive um, AES carts on the Neo Geo. Um, doesn't mean it, it's. Uh, it's. Um, I don't think it's actually worth it, though. Like it became too expensive for its own good. And Gin, it's here. Making his appearance ever since KOF 96, so that's quite a quite some time, few years actually, and still as annoying as ever. Maybe even more annoying. And yeah, that's what I mean. God. of the round oh no oh, well I wasted the EX there depending on your performance actually you you could fight a different uh, sub boss here um, we have zero from Mega Man zero Mars people from Metal Slug. Who am I missing? Dimitri, I think. Or I am. Um, it's been a while. I can't remember. Ah, oh, just a little more. And I failed. Oh well. Well, that's it for SNK vs. Capcom as VC Chaos. And it's running great on the PlayStation Classic. And what's more, thanks to the latest update, probably one of your joysticks could be working. So you can have a proper arcade experience. And um, you're watching it mid days a week. Thanks for watching.